Boo! Hello. Ha <laughs> ha! Bet I scared ya. Did I scare ya? I hope so. <laughs> Hello everyone! Uh, this is Evil Guy 13 here, and yes, back on Halo, back on Griffball! Yes! Griffball is my favourite game, and this time it's normal Griffball. Vanilla Griffball, as they call it. Not Griffball that's evolved. Stupid diving. I hate Griffball evolved. Albeit, I still play it because it's Griffball and it's fun as hell, but compared to Griffball normal, this one, it just doesn't compare. It's ridiculous. There's a huge difference to me in in fun factor. But yeah, hello, welcome back to Griffball. And because I don't usually find things to talk about, today I've actually got a subject of what to talk about. And I'm going to start of my subjects of things to talk about with my favourite video game based things of all time. And they are Red vs Blue, obviously. Big surprise not a big surprise there. Inside gaming that any of you who have seen my episodes before would already know. Critical Floor, who is done by Adam Kovic, who does Inside Gaming. And Kale Anonymous, who does... Well, Adam Kovic is the dead pixel. And Kale Anonymous, who does ETC, which isn't one of my favourites, but still a good show. My One of my other favourites is called All Your History Are Belong to Us because I want to go into the gaming industry, whether it's as a commentator, but I doubt I'll get paid to do this. I do it because it's fun. I don't mind if I get paid or not. If I do, great dream come true, I'd be so happy. But if not, I want to become a programmer, a designer. I've been looking into it. I have ideas. Well, pretty much everyone can say that. Everyone can say they have ideas about what to do for a game. I just hope that one day I will get the chance to prove it. But, hey, you never know until you try. But first I have to actually pass my A-levels, so... Eh, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not really talking about the gameplay much, so... Let's talk about the gameplay. Slice a guy, pick up the bomb. Not enough pe Yeah, here's an idiot who d isn't moving. That's what I also hate. People who join games and don't move. Obviously, if they have an excuse that... Well, that was me failing miserably there. <laughs> if they have an excuse, like they've just been called away for dinner or something, and they're just quickly going to get their food, then fair enough, I've done that a few times. Yeah, I'm okay with it. But there are some situations where it just doesn't seem forgivable. Like, if you're not moving the entire game, I mean, goddamn, surely you should know whether you're going to be moving the entire game or whether you are just experience camping. And does that not cross their mind? that if they don't do anything, they get barely any experience. None at all. Nothing. Nada. Zit. Zilcho. I can't think of any more words for zero. Oh, wait, there's one. <laughs> and, well, yeah. Here's me taking out my runner position again. Um, I think I score next two goals, but I think overall we lose this match. Again. <laughs> Yeah, I have a habit of losing matches. It's kind of my thing. Reflects my skill level. Mm. I did a thing once where I actually did a show where it was never actually taken to um, YouTube because the person who was I was doing it with backed out. And they were like, oh, I don't really feel like doing it anymore. I might actually revive it if I can get his position. Oh, there's me. Wee! He scores. But yeah, I might actually revive it where we would play matchmaking, then pick a random person from one of the matchmaking games we played, and spend a whole game spectating them, commentating over them, and then at the end of the game, give them a ranking out of 10 for how well they played, and try to make it funny. A nice, good old dual commentary. But, however, as I said, my friend backed out. If you'd like to see that, leave a message in the comments, because I wouldn't mind doing that. It'd be a good show. That way, people in games with me have more encouragement to do silly things, which will make me more likely to put up the video. But, yeah, I might make this show. And that, that teammate of mine there, what an effort he could put in there. Bomb right next to the goal before he died. And I just managed to pick it up there. He deserves the credit for that. I'll rewind it and look for his name and put it in the description. Just like, give props to this guy. 
No, I do like it when I have a good team. It's just this time we were unlucky. We didn't win. We did had a non-person who wasn't moving for part of the game. Probably not his fault because he did start moving. He's moving now, for example. And I was told from my earlier videos that I drone a bit. I know I do. It was I was nervous for those videos. And in when it comes to these videos, there's not really as much funny stuff I can do. I'm a situational funny man, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. If something hilarious happens, I can easily make a joke about it. If something weird or wonderful happens, I'll make a joke about it. Comedy is how I deal with stuff. One day in my life, something horrible or scary happened, I responded with something funny, and that's controlled the rest of my life. <laughs> and, yeah, it's harder to do when you're playing something as simple as Griffball. But I really hope you're all enjoying my videos anyway. And if you are, you know the you know the drill. Same with every YouTube video. Rate, comment, subscribe, recommend me to your friends, masturbate over me, whatever takes your fancy. I'm out of time now, so see you all later.